Hey, what's going on, guys? Thanks for tuning in to another segment of Be Consumidor. It's been a little while since my last review. Over here in New England, it's been brutally cold, you know, dropping down to the single digits and even the negatives at night. Um, so, you know, the only time I'm really smoking a cigar is if I'm in a cigar lounge or somewhere indoors. You know, these cold winter months make it really difficult to enjoy a full-size cigar. Um, as you can see, I am in my garage right now. I've got the garage door cracked open. I've got the, you know, the heater next to me. And, uh, you know, in these cold months, it's good to find uh, a small, quick cigar that you really like. And I think this is going to be it. Um, this review is the Liga Pravada Number no. 9 Coronets by Drew Estate. As you can see, it comes in a tin. Uh, in each tin, there's 10 small cigars. The Coronets are a 4x32. And the retail is going to run you between, I've seen it as low as $22 a tin and as high as $25. So um, I think I paid $22.50. So you crack that open and there they are. So I'll pull one of these out. So this is what it looks like. That's the band. Um, the band isn't as fancy as... Um, the regular Liga Pravada number nine, it's a little bit plainer, but um, still looks pretty decent. So this is going to be a quick review. Um, this is probably only going to last me about a half an hour, 45 minutes at the absolute most, depending if I milk it or not. So I'm just going to smoke it and I'm just going to get back to you guys at the end and just let you know uh, what my thoughts are on this cigar. All right, guys, I'll catch you then. All right, guys, so as you can see, I'm coming to the end of the cigar right now. Now, um, in the last segment, I said that maybe you could get 45 minutes out of this. There's no way. Um, I'm coming up on maybe a half an hour. So the most you're going to get out of this is 35 minutes at the absolute most, but probably closer to a half an hour. Um, now, let's talk about the appearance and construction on the cigar. Now, let's face it, guys, this is a cigarillo-type cigar. Um, and we all know that cigarillo type cigars generally aren't the prettiest. Um, that being said, this one is rolled really good. Um, the appearance and construction is really good for a cigarillo. We'll say that. Um, the draw is really good. The smoke output is amazing. Um, you know, and that's to be expected, um, you know, from Drew Estate. But um, the flavor profile. Don't expect it, you know, to taste like any of the other number nines because, you know, that's just unrealistic. You're paying $23 for 10 cigars. You know, it's not going to taste like a $12 or $13, you know, cigar. Uh, it does taste similar to a number nine. Um, I would say that it's spicier for sure. And I think that's due to the uh, wrapper to filler ratio, you know, so since you're getting... Uh, more wrapper on these smaller cigars in terms of ratio wise um, you're going to get more spice uh, there is one note on the finish that I found very interesting um, I'm getting some uh, some toffee it's actually a pretty strong toffee note on the finish which I don't recall getting that in any of the other number nines that I've smoked um, so would I recommend this cigar Yes, I would. If you're looking for a quick, you know, winter smoke where it's only going to last you about a half an hour, then yeah, I would say definitely go out, pick these up. But I don't want you to go out and pick these up thinking that you're getting, you know, the same exact, you know, thing as any of the other number nines. Because that's just, you know, like I said, that's just not realistic um, for, for the price. But yeah, definitely go out, pick them up. If you've had them, you know, leave a comment down below. Um, I've said in previous videos, once I hit the 50 subscribers, I'm going to do a giveaway. I'm at 49 right now. So you know what? Go down there, hit that like button, subscribe, and uh, I'll get that contest going. Until next time, guys, catch you later.